Hey, welcome to our channel. In this quick bite tutorial, we'll build a program to automatically do some configuration into the Cisco router. We'll be using the Telnet Lib to connect two routers via Telnet. We have already built a simple network with uh, three routers and my laptop all connected through a layer 2 switch. And uh, all of these components are on the same subnet and broadcast domain. There is nothing much going on there other than this. All the routers will be connected via Telnet one at a time and then a series of commands will be executed by the program. The first and important module which we will utilize in this program is the Telnet Lib module. This provides a class which implements the Telnet protocol in Python. Basically we are installing the Telnet client in our Python program. And uh, byte string is another keyword you will hear me saying uh, while we code. On a high level, you can just think of it as a machine readable format. Say for example, when a computer stores a character A in its disk and all it will be saved in this format. I will leave all the links referenced in this video in the description box. You guys can read them out for more details on each of these topics. Some of the mod methods in the Telnet library which we will be utilizing are dot read until basically it reads until a given byte string expected is encountered or until timeout seconds have passed for instance we can ask the program to wait until the router prompts for the username by mentioning the expected byte string to be username after seeing this we can pass in the actual username then the dot write it just writes a byte string to the socket example executing command like show run or show IP interface brief etc and then the dot read all basically this will read all the command and output logs etc whatever have been generated during the telnet session that is made that is from the start to the end the important thing to be noticed here is this will read as bytes so we have to decode in order to present this in a human readable format. Next the get pass. The get pass just prompts the user for a password without echoing. Meaning uh, you would have seen in your office somewhere when you log into an application when you type the password it will not show up in the terminal or in the GUI. So we will be able to achieve such thing with this get pass module in our program. Next the methods used from get pass are dot get pass. Here we will be able to prompt a specific uh, keyword like uh, enter your password, something like that. Okay guys, let's code this out. Okay, here we are. We are in the terminal of my Linux machine. The first and foremost thing we are going to do here is ping all the network devices and see what are all pingable and which devices are not reachable. So the first device is 192.168. 122.10 I am able to ping that 20 I am not able to ping and 30 yes I am able to ping so guys we are in the atom text editor the first thing we are going to do is import the required modules import telnet library and then import uh, get pass. Next, let's create a list where uh, we will give all the IP addresses of our routers. Device IP list is equal to IP address 192.168.122.10. Let's copy that. Twenty, and then our third router is of IP thirty. Next, let's create two variables: one for the username and one for the password of the routers. The username. Let us get it as an input from the user. User is equal to input. So enter the username and then password. 
so this is okay i think i have done a typo here so input so coming to the password we are going to use the get pass module which we have uh, imported already so get pass dot the method is get pass again and then we have to give the prompt whatever we need as per our requirement even we can leave this prompt uh, empty the default string whatever it will show is password it will just show password okay next let's create a loop for our device ip list so basically what we are trying to do here is we are going to loop through the list okay for ip in device ip oh hold on ip in device ip list okay so for ip in device ip list what it is going to do it takes the first uh, first element in our list which is 192.168.122.10 so after this line gets executed the value of ip is 192.168.122.10 what we are going to do is we are we are going to tell it into that router the ip address right 192.168.122.10 uh, when we do this we have to think about a error right we have to do something in python terms called as error handling there are chances that the router may be offline right in python when you hit a error in in any line right python executes line by line and if you hit an error in any line the program will get terminated so there is an uh, error handling methodology which is called try except so we are going to do that so we are going to try whether we are able to tell net so tell net live dot you try tell netting to this ip and if you hit a ex exception if it is if os error exception you just continue to the for loop so this continue statement will skip the con following lines inside the for loop and go back to the for loop start of the for loop basically next if the exception is not hit right the device is online and we are able to tell them successfully what's the next thing we have to do we already requested the user for the username and the password so we have it handy in our program we have to paste it into the telnet console to get into the router right so how can we do that so read until b of surname so let me just quickly explain this so what i am doing here is uh, i am reading until i hit this keyword s c r n a m e uh, basically i don't prefer to use the u whenever i i write a program because in i have seen in some of the network devices the u may be a caps or a small so to avoid that uh, we'll just uh, match this and what is this b is this is called as a byte string so as we said already telnet library completely works on byte strings okay so we read that right so when we read username what should we do so we should pass on the username which we have gathered from the user right user look when we pass on so in this line right when we get the input from the user it is a plain string but when we pass on into the telnet library we should encode it as a byte string and the encoding is ascii even we are going to pass a slash n this is just to give a enter then similar way let's do this similar way we'll do for password basically let's go here guys read until we hit 
password and when we hit the password pass pass the value which we have stored the string value which we have stored in the pwd variable basically then we are into the router now so what should we do if you are worked on cisco routers to create a interface this is what we have to do that's what i'm going to do now okay so the first command we'll do is we'll ask our program to write configure terminal and hit i enter let's copy this i'm going to do so the next thing we have to do is uh, once we enter into the configure terminal mode we have to do interface loop back one and then once we are in the interface configuration mode we'll do ip address 192.168 no 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 let's do this 1111 let's make it simple then let's end and then exit uh, this is not needed just copy it too many times next what should we do um, to make it easy for our understanding what is happening right so let's print whatever is being executed inside the telnet okay to do that if you remember i told you a method in telnet library so telnet dot read it's not read until it's read all whatever we executed in the complete session to start and to start to end basically what i'm doing here this one so here i'm reading all the uh, all the logs whatever config logs whatever uh, happened in that telnet session plus what i'm doing here is decoding that so as i said earlier telnet library interacts using byte strings so whatever reply we get right it will be also in byte string so we have to decode and we also have to mention what kind of thing. so it going to be ascii okay so let's save our program i just saved it so i'm going to execute this now okay to execute our program let's jump back into the terminal in the terminal let's go into the directory where we have our python script so this is the directory so let me zoom out a bit here so you can see it so let's see this is where i have the python script so let me execute that let's see if our program works correctly so it's prompting for the username the username i have configured is cisco and password is cisco so let's see what happens here so you see here it configured r1 this is what is executed in the terminal and r3 why not r2 because we already saw that it is down right so let's just hop over to our routers and then verify whether this uh, loop back is configured correctly so we are on r3 if you see earlier i have done a show ip in brief exclude unassigned i haven't had the loop back interface if you see a log in our r3 it just says that a loop back interface got up right so let's do this show ip interface brief exclude exclude on assigned you see now there is a loop back interface let's go to the r1 r1 is same case there was a there was no loop back interface a loop back interface just got created we'll just validate it once yes okay i think we are done for this video if you like the video like share and subscribe let's learn together thank you take care bye